let's say speed running uh, greatest moments. Top five. Okay, I've looked at some of this before. Of course, we know iconic. Uh, what's this guy's name again? I can't remember. Five most legendary speedruns. Sometimes a single speedrun can influence the community in a totally new direction, which is partly what makes this hobby so exciting. And so today, I'm here to show you five of the most legendary runs in speedrun history. Zaglemic first cemented his spot as the oh, top SM64 runner in late 2011 with his 120 star run of 1 hour, 47 minutes, and 10 seconds. Wait, so what's, Japanese what's the current record? Uh, let's see. I don't think it was that much. Yeah, maybe it is. 120 star is 138. So it's like, it's not that bad. But fuck, it's crazy how many people have caught up to him. He's runner Honey, Siglemic now held the record. It was at this point Siglemic's stream began to take off, becoming one of the most watched on Justin TV. Yeah. He quickly distinguished himself from other runners, improving the record faster than anyone could keep up with. On April 23rd, 2014, Siglemic would get the world's first 143. All right, 143, that's it. He was truly the undisputed king of Super Mario 64. The run itself was quite the accomplishment, taking three years of practice to perfect, but this run was also important because Siglemic would never beat it. He began to drift away from SM64 as new runners began to catch up, and months later his time was beaten by Punkation. The king had been toppled, but Siglemic's 143 would still go down as one of the most important speedruns of its day. <laughs> Let's take a step back and... Relax. And this blindfolded run will come to me. Blindfolded speedruns are nothing new, but there is one run which stands out as the most impressive of the bunch. In June 2015, Pangea Pango would become the first person to complete Super Mario World blindfolded. The memorization, timing, and duration made this unlike any other run. This run received huge media attention, and it is the most viewed blindfolded speedrun ever. Got him! The term tool assisted speedrun was first used in the late 90s when a runner named Arikin released a version of Doom which allowed you to record gameplay in slow motion and then play it back in real time. This made it much easier to get a faster time, but it wasn't until 2003 that we saw the first modern task. Someone named Morimoto released a speedrun of Super Mario Bros. 3, completing the game in 11 minutes and 3 seconds. This was the first major task that utilized single frame advancing and save states. Because this was among the first of its kind, many people saw this as illegitimate and cheating. It wasn't just significant because of its ingenuity, it inspired BizQuit to create taskvideos.org, the largest database of tool-assisted speedruns to this day. It's a lot of work to do, put together a tool assistant The GoldenEye huh? community is among the oldest in speedrunning. Literally this is likely in due to the in-game game timer so making speed an obvious objective. The game times lot. each level individually, which is why this game is generally run in segments. This has caused times to have gotten very optimized and very fast. People have taken months or years just to shave off one more second. December 2013, Ryan Lockwood, GoldenEye runner, got through streets in 1 minute, 12 seconds, beating his personal best by 2 seconds and tying Mark Rutsu for the world record. This run became famous not just for its insanity, but also for one of the best pop-offs in speedrun history. Yeah, right here, it's this one. Right here, this is the 112. Right here, yes! Dude, what a rush! What a rush! Yeah, it just Look becomes a legendary off this video. Faces? Right in the fucking head! Yeah! Got a fucking 112, baby! That's right, you see that clutchness? I am fucking clutch! Look at this fucking line I take. I'm like, yeah, baby. Let's fucking do this. I wait, I wait, I wait. Right when he starts firing, they try to back boost me. The double. Body armor. Two quick ones. I already know I'm getting there on the perfect line. Look at the fucking pace. 50. 49. 47, baby. That's fucking right. That's fucking it. <laughs> fucking pumped watching this one again. I waited for cinema too because I said, oh my god, it might be 112. And it fucking is! It fucking is, baby! Yeah! Dude, I fucking just got streets 112. It's not fucking 112. Yes! I fucking did it! That's right! I skipped 113. I'm a legend. I am a fucking legend. I'm a fucking legend. Yeah. I am a fucking legend. Of 
course Ocarina of Time had to be on the list. I had a hard time deciding since this game constantly has so many amazing moments, but I ultimately decided there was one run that not only brought in new inspiration, but marked a turning point for speedrunning as a whole. And that run is Cosmo, now Narcissa writes, 2238 Ocarina of Time any percent run. This run wasn't impressive gameplay wise, the commentary is what made it special. Perhaps the most insightful run of its time. I can't tell you how many people I personally know who started speedrunning because of this single run. This was the year speedrunning really began to catch on. It's no coincidence that Games Done Quick grew more in 2013 than any other year. And at least for me personally, it's this run that signified speedrunning's break from the underground into the mainstream. Sequence to like catch stuff in bottles, <laughs> which would write stuff into your inventory. And you would write the lullaby, which lets you get the magic. Then you'd write the medallions, and then you'd also write a quiver. And so with those items, uh, you could shoot the light arrow at Ganondorf to defeat Ganondorf and then get to the end of the game. And like Ugh. for a really long time, we were like, that's it, man. Like, there's no way we can. <laughs> There's no way we can break this game anymore. There's a bottleneck at Ganondorf. Like you have to, <laughs> like you have to get past Ganondorf. So you need light arrows with magic, usable magic, and a quiver with arrows. So like, there's nothing else you can do. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Dude, Ramrod is picking me apart. Ooh. What the fuck is going? Oh, dude! What the fuck? You can, that's fucking unreal. What the fuck? I wanted to try speedrun in this game at one point because it's one of my uh, one of my favorite games. Is speedrunning Minecraft a lot of fun or what? A lot of RNG. Been following for seven years today. Enjoyed all the phases and shit. Smile of the new style with the stash. PS still waiting on my mod. You promised me smile. No FF today. I played a little bit. I'm just burned right now on everything. Just want to chill. I'm just tired as fuck. So playing games is uh tiring me. <laughs> that could have been bad. Okay, I can't lose any health. If he would have like dove right there, would have stopped him from dying. How good did Mizkif get? Just got here, but if you're looking for a new speedrun game, check out John Woo's Stranglehold. I saw the Neebs game My controller and died! Almost identical no! to MP3. No way! No way! My controller died! No way! He's pretty good. I don't have any more batteries. 